you wanna flux on you. Flux save! Flux save! Damn it! Who remembers Fortnite Season 5? <laughs> I wish I didn't! So in this video today, what we are going to be discussing is rating Fortnite Season 5. AKA the worst season, like, out of any game possible. Like, I can't think of any worse imaginable season, like, it could have been. So how we're gonna go about rating the season is we're going to break it up into three categories. And, uh, three categories is because that's all I could think of. You know, I thought about it for a solid two minutes. I was like, okay, okay. Three categories, that's all. The categories we're gonna break it up into is the battle pass, the gameplay, and... Okay, I, I, I forgot what I was gonna say for a second, but skins. Okay, that's what, that's what we're gonna... That's what the three categories is gonna be. First off, we have the battle pass. Now, the battle pass, I think, has been easily one of the best battle passes besides Season 2. It had a lot of cool stuff in it. Um, first, uh, the, the first two skins are just complete trash. The Huntress and the Drift. God, they are garbage. And actually, I haven't even seen a Huntress in ages since the beginning of the, the season, actually. And then we have the Red Line, which is actually a pretty decent skin. If you throw on, like, Cuddle Bow and use Death Valley, it looks awesome. And using Iron Cage on it looks pretty freaking gnarly, too. Next, we got the Sun Strider, which is the skin I really wanted in the beginning of the season. I almost actually did the most retarded thing ever and buy tears to it. Um, you know, that would have been pretty, pretty stupid if I did that because you know what? I, once I unlocked it, I used it once and it's been two months since I've used it. So, <laughs> well, <laughs> what can I say? And, um, next skin we have is the, that one tan guy. Um, you know, all I know is he's in save the world. Uh, he's garbage, bro. Why is th that should be a default skin? Why is that in the battle pass? Next up is Rook, which personally is the best skin that has been in any battle pass i personally love that skin but i've barely worn it <laughs> because i don't have any good back blings for it but it's an awesome skin i definitely think it's one of the best skins to ever come into battle pass last but not least we have ragnarok which is honestly just a disgusting skin but i feel like ever since they made the capes i feel like this is the first cape they did right um which it looks good it looks like a cape um besides the battle hounds cape though that crap's awesome next the pickaxes were pretty okay i don't like the blue one i don't know what it's called because i really don't care or use it um it's pretty gross looking but i know a lot of people use it and then the rift edge which honestly is a super cool pickaxe i don't personally like using it but like it's it's a freaking gnarly pickaxe i'd give the battle pass probably a like a 8 out of 10 just because not not a 9 out of 10 or 10 out of 10 just because some of the skins don't have rewearability besides rook and also um the fact that the challenges were so stupid like there there's just some dumb challenges where you had to like oh to get one star you had to go in snobby shores and then what <laughs> to get that next star in the next game you had to go to freaking moisty mire which doesn't exist you know it's impossible that that's what it felt like this it felt like i had to go to moisty mire in season five that, that feels terrible it hurts my heart i miss moisty next up we have the gameplay or uh the meta as you would say i'm not gonna lie at the beginning of the season the meta was actually awesome running just heavy smg i know in the beginning of the season my favorite loadout was just a heavy shotgun, a purple tack SMG, and then, uh, what's that one snipe? The, the freaking, wow, I am disabled. The hunting rifle. <laughs> and, um, if you don't know, the, at the end of season four, people started using, um, SMGs instead of, uh, assault rifles because there was just this weird, awkward moment in season four where everybody was getting into build fights, but nobody had mats. So people would just like, you would get in a build fight and they would box up immediately. So that's why everybody started like running SMGs. I know that's why I started running SMG. Cause you know, my friend was like, yo, you, you gotta run SMG. And I'm like, aight bro. Um, so I started running that. And 
after like week three into the season it just went so downhill the tommy gun and everything i feel like the actually the meta started after the 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 new smg was released and it was just overall terrible i would literally like get on and force myself to play but be so scared because i like dude i know i'm gonna die to a tommy gun okay and that's just like it ruined the game for me for such a large portion of the season it made it almost impossible to stream because it was just hard for me to adapt to the meta i guess because it's just so stupid like you would get killed from people who just started playing yesterday it, it was so bad <laughs> when you're not good at build fighting well i am gonna say um ever since they removed the tommy gun the season really has cleaned up i'm glad it's having the ending that season five deserves like season four did season four <laughs> man i love season four so much man but it, it's getting the ending it deserves it's a good ending um besides the freaking double barrel shotgun pre pre's pre's remove it epic please so i'm gonna give the gameplay of the season like a four out of ten it's it's it was just overall bad besides like four weeks in total of it like the whole six week period between like week three and up to now it was just absolutely terrible i didn't even want to get on the game so yeah <laughs> and now last but not least the skins which is probably what everybody cares about and the only thing anybody cares about. The skins this season has been pretty poor to say to say the least. Um they were absolutely horrible. I've throughout this whole season, I've only ever wanted to buy one skin and I haven't used it after the first day that I've used it, which is Chopper. Which was a sick skin, but it has no rewearability. But I'm gonna go based off of all the skins I see people wearing that are outside the battle pass that are season 5 skins. And really, the only skins that people have been wearing this season or like shown that they're wearing through back blings and stuff was the whiteout um guys the motorcycle guys i don't know what they're called but it seems like those were the ones that were most bought and like had the most attention to this season and then valkyrie as well i feel like those were the only two skins that were like really actually bought no other skin was like i didn't those were the only two skins even though valkyrie was released just a couple days ago those were the only skins i've actually seen in lobby um outside of battle pass skins which is super weird and it just goes to show how bad like fortnite is just putting quantity over quality this whole season which i hope fixes the next season so all in all i would i would probably give skins probably a five out of ten just I mean, I, I didn't enjoy any skin at all this season. They were all garbage. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, now it's time for me to use my big boy brain uh, that they taught me to use in school. Even though I've been in the same algebra for the last three years now. Um, this is We're about to round up uh, what this season's total score is. Uh, hold on. Let me remember how to do this real quick. All right, so I'm pretty sure what we do here is we add up all the totals. I'm not sure. So eight plus four plus five, okay? And then, is that 17? It is, okay. Divided by three, which is the three categories, which equals 5.6667 repeating. Um, so that's the score this season. As you can see, you know, the numbers show this is a terrible season. Um, honestly, personally, I'd give the season like a two, even though I've gotten my most solo wins this season. It, it was just frustrating overall to even try to stream this game this season, just because it, I'd get so mad at the game. 
But thank you all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and share with your friends and turn on notifications. All the YouTuber things I have to say because YouTube is garbage. You know, thank you very much for watching and I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in another video. Thank you for watching.